Hey and welcome to this video series about time and time management. And I think this is a really, really important topic for everybody because time is the one thing that is really limited on this place and that we can't get back no matter how much money or success or things we have. And I think you know this, time can feel very different. Sometimes it's uh, like the middle of the year and you ask yourself where all this time has gone and sometimes you feel stuck and um, time passes really, really slowly. And I think it's important to ask ourselves where this heaviness around time that we sometimes feel comes from. And in my opinion, it's coming from our thinking when we have a lot of thinking about time and about um, heavy things, when we worry a lot, when we are upset, when we feel resentment, when we feel guilt, then we come into a low vibrating space and also time can feel heavy and, um, and uh, create a pressure. So is the answer to all time problems to um, manage our thoughts better and to learn more about our mental well-being. I think it can help and I also know that there are some techniques and tools specifically about time that can really really make a tremendous difference in the way we perceive it and in the way we can use it. And about these things I want to teach you more in this video series. I will give you support on four levels. On level number one, I will show you more about distractions and how to get rid of them. On level number two, I will show you how to establish a really strong vision. On level number three, I will show you the best tools how to prioritize. And on level number four, we will speak about working techniques to work more efficiently and more effectively. So let's start on level number one, the level of distractions and this is really really important because um, the way our brain works we always need a little bit of time to um, get into a certain thing like to warm up for playing an instrument or to warm up to do our writing or to do our sports that's really uh, visible and very easy to grasp and getting distracted I like this uh, sport metaphor actually. Getting distracted is like um, warming up for your exercising and then um, somebody uh, calls you or somebody um, asks you for something and you do something completely different. And when you come back um, to what you want to do, to, to do to train, you have to warm up again and you need some time to do this again. And when you do this the whole day, you're actually always warming up and you're never really doing your your heavy lifting, so to speak. And it's the same with everything. So when you get distracted all the time, you never really get into this deep level of focused work. So it's really, really crucial to deal with these distractions and to take care that you're not getting distracted. And I think this mainly happens on two levels. Um, that I would say there are two different levels of distractions uh, when it comes to working. One is um, getting distracted by other people and the other one is getting distracted by your electronics. When it comes to getting distracted by other people, so that's usually by your colleagues or by people who call you or when you work from home, um, from the people you live with, um, like your partner or your roommates. And in my experience and the experience of my clients, the easiest way to handle this is to have an open conversation and to really address it and to find a solution how you can do your work and how you um, let the other people know that you are right now doing your work. For example, you could um, agree on that every time you close the door to your office, this means that you are like in deep work and that nobody should enter and distract you and every time you open the door uh, that's the sign that you're like um, relaxing or that you're doing some um, easy things like organizing your office space and people can come in and talk to you and this works uh, at home 
and this also can work in the office. A second way would be, if you don't have an own office, to um, establish the sign that every time you put on your headphones, this means you're like going into deep work and nobody should uh, talk to you and distract you. And every time you take your headphones off, you're like open to conversations and all kinds of things. So these are like a few tips around the distractions that can happen with uh, like the people who are with you in the same space. And as I already mentioned, the other big thing is distraction, distractions from your electronics. And that's a big thing because when you have a phone or a computer and you're not taking care of this, you will have tens, maybe even hundreds of apps sending you notifications. Your email provider, WhatsApp, messages, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you have app everything. And the big thing with this is that, as I already mentioned, this is like pulling you out of your deep work all the time. And for me, the most simple, most straightforward solution to this is to deactivate everything. So I'm not getting a single notification on my phone or on my computer. And through this, I'm taking care of that I am using the electronics and that I'm not getting used or consumed by the electronics and by the services. And I'm a big fan of electronics and I'm a big fan of apps. And uh, still, this is really important for me. And through this, I decide when I check my emails, I decide when I check WhatsApp, when I check um, Instagram. And the only time my phone rings is when somebody is calling me. And the people who are in contact with me a lot know this. And when they need something that's urgent and they need now, they call me. And um, this is working really well. And actually, when I do deep work that doesn't involve um, talking to people, I'm putting my phone on flight mode and I'm checking it in my breaks. And when I see somebody called me, I call them back. This was a really, really big game changer because through this, I'm getting way more things done in the same amount of time. And I can spend the time that um, I save as quality time with these people and have way profounder connections with them than just having this short, shallow talk between doors, so to speak. So if you want to try this, deactivate all your apps on your phone and on your computer. And if you realize, hey, from this specific app, it's actually really helpful to get notifications and it saves me time and energy um, and so on, then you still can go back and reactivate this particular app. How does this sound to you? Can you imagine that this is helpful to you and that um, this would improve your, your overall quality of life, so to speak? Then um, let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to hear how this feels for you, what experience you've maybe already had with this, and if you have some other things that work for you and that you want to share with us um, through the comments. And in the next videos, I will go deeper into the three other levels. And if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, I would be really happy if you follow this channel. And you can do this by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. And like this, you also take care that you get my new videos on your home screen, on the YouTube home screen. And I am publishing a new video once a week. And I see you in the next one.